everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Karina and welcome back to Ready, Set, Pan. Today I have a small little beauty related haul for you guys. I did a little bit of shopping at Shoppers Drug Mart. Uh, my husband needed a couple things from Shoppers and they had one of their really good 20 times the points deals when you spend, I think it was $75. So because my husband purchases got us a good chunk of the way there, uh, I bought some beauty stuff. So that is what we're going to discuss today. Um, so again, it's not a big haul, um, but I do have a couple of sort of things, including a nail polish, I've got some soap. So we're going to dive into the things that I have purchased. I'll explain why I purchased them my, and my initial thoughts on these guys. And of course, I do welcome all of your thoughts down below in the comments. So without further ado, let's dive into this Shoppers Drug Mart beauty related haul. So the first thing I bought is a brand I've been curious about for a while now. It's not really something I'm going to talk about a whole lot on my channel because it's a deodorant and deodorants are kind of boring. But this is Native. I've heard so much talk about Native. Um, this one in particular is their coconut and vanilla deodorant. Now this is expensive deodorant. This is the most expensive deodorant I have ever purchased even though it was on sale. Um, because again it is paraben free, it is aluminum free, it is all of these good things apparently and i do really like the sense of these like so for deodorant i am definitely one of those kind of picky individuals where i want my deodorant to smell good um, but i also want it to be effective and to do a lot of stuff so i've never tried anything from native before i've heard mixed reviews on them but i figure if i'm still thinking about them i should at least give them a try so that is that again this is not going to be a big thing we'll be talking about a lot because it's deodorant and that's kind of really on the personal hygiene aspect of things but just want to let you guys know because I know native is a big thing for a lot of people and um, we'll give it a go. All right now let's get into the more exciting kinds of things. Uh, you guys may remember from one of my projects I put in the Life brand their moisturizing foot mask. Uh, this one is in the shea butter and coconut oil. This did amazing things for my feet and again this is a single use thing so I had like no expectations for it especially because the one I had was like I've had it for a few years before I even used it so uh, we'll see what happens with new fresh guys now um I bought one two three and four of these guys. Now their foot mask selection is super limited. There was this one, there's the exfoliating one, which I used in a project. Wasn't so big on the exfoliating one. So for foot masks, this was basically the only moisturizing option. So not super fun in terms of the scent, but I'm thinking as like a once a month kind of thing, that might be nice. Now you may have noticed, um, I bought these two at One Shoppers, because these are the small mediums, and I bought these two in other shoppers, the large, extra large, because that's what they had at the stores. <laughs> like, that was it. These have different UPCs, so the barcodes on the back are different, but they didn't have the other size. And I don't know, you guys, like, small, this one here, small to medium, says for women's foot size, a 4.5 to a 9. So I have an 8. Um, so that should be this. Large, extra large is a size 9 to 13. So we'll kind of see how it goes. Of course, it is Life Brand. And one of the nice things about Life Brand is that you can always take it back because quality guarantee. So if these ones end up being absolutely too giant, I can take it back. No problems. So, yeah. So that's what I got. Um, so I'm thinking kind of like a once a month type of thing. Might be good for these just to help with feet maintenance so they don't get really really bad also was a little on the bad side I did buy one nail polish uh, I needed a little bit more to help get me to the 75 minimum threshold and I do love the Sally Hansen and this one is just so pretty it's purple and it's got like this shimmery goodness all through it so I think that's gonna look really really pretty this is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in 204 Adrenaline Crush. So I think that's going to be gorgeous. Very excited about it. But, uh, one nail polish. And then I bought two shower gels. These are the last items we're going to feature in today's video. Um, now, of course, the same day, 
uh, when I bought these, I was going to Bath & Body Works for their $5.95 body care day, kind of Canadian prices. Um, and I was going with the intention of buying a fair number of shower gels, which I did, and that haul is up for you guys already. But I did want to buy these two, so we'll start with one that I kind of picked up because it smelled really, really good. Um, I have heard good things about the Saint Eyes. Now, generally people have been really talking about the oatmeal one, which isn't really my scent preference, so I decided to try instead the pink lemon and orange mandarin. Now, where it sits, it does kind of start right here, so it isn't full all the way to the top. And it does, yeah, it does look like it's got some texture in there. You might be able to see that. So gentle a kind of exfoliation, but it does smell really quite nice. Yeah, it is a good balance between the lemon and the orange, which you don't seem to get very often with body care products. Um, Yeah, no, I really enjoy it. I like the balance of it, at least on cold. I have not used it in the shower because I have other things in the shower and I tend to be a one shower gel at a time kind of girl. Kind of boring that way, sorry. Um, but this is gonna be kind of exciting. I think this would be a great spring option. And I kind of just wanted to give it a try. So, especially because the body lotions, I hauled those a while ago. Uh, I've been working on one of them, like the coconut and orchid one and um, I mean, it does great things for the skin. The formula is great. The scent feels a little greasy, not absorbing as well. So it's a mixed bag on the body lotion. So I figured I'd give this guy a try instead. And you do have 650 milliliters in this, which is a fair amount of product. And then the last time I'm gonna show you guys today, this one I had kind of on my list to check out and it was on sale. So um, I have heard so many good things about Olay and in particular the strawberry mint. So this is their Olay Fresh Outlast Notes of White Strawberry and Mint Body Wash. Now again uh, from a Project Panic perspective packaging is it's really pretty. I love this appearance. Uh, I just can't see through it so it makes it hard to track progress so that's a little bit annoying but for the scent though, you guys, and it smells amazing. Oh my goodness, I am, at least on cold, definitely understanding the hype of this product. I love strawberry, okay? Like that's like one of my favorite fruits. If we're talking about the body shop, if I was buying anything from the body shop, which I'm not really gonna be doing because I'm so like head over heels for Bath and Body Works right now, but their strawberry, um, I, they're, Body polish, great. Their body butter, great. Love the strawberry. And this, the mint adds just a little bit, right? It's not an overpowering mint at all. It is very strawberry forward, which I like because strawberry is awesome and supreme on its own. It doesn't need anything. But I am so, so, so excited for this. Again, I do think this is going to be like a spring kind of scent. Even like a end of winter transition into spring kind of scent. It could go into the summer. We have 650 milliliters in this one as well. So same size as the St. Ives, which is a substantially larger amount than in the Bath Body Works. But it just smells so wonderful and I'm very excited. I did have this one in mind that I wanted to pick up and I'm glad it was on sale. But that's it, that's my whole little haul here. Cause again, I don't wanna go too crazy cause I do have so much stuff already. But to recap, we did have the one deodorant, the four foot mask, so again, about once a month type thing, one nail polish and two body washes. And of course I got 20 times points for my purchase, which is fantastic because that's actually a really, really good deal. But that is everything. So let me know all of your thoughts about my haul down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts if you have tried these products before. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Have a wonderful day.